I am deeply troubled by the circumstances surrounding the municipal elections in St. Louis County this Tuesday. Mr. President, uh, in St. Louis County, residents in more than 60 precincts were unable to cast ballots and were thus deprived, disenfranchised of their most, one of their most fundamental rights under our Constitution. My colleagues have already done a good job of summarizing the problem, so I won't go into great detail here. But I just wanted this morning to uh, address some comments that were made in a Senate committee hearing a few weeks back and their relationship to this situation. As many of you know, I have filed Senate Bill 771, a bill aimed at requiring a paper ballot record for all elections. The purpose of this bill is to ensure a verifiable, auditable uh, record of one's vote following an election. I believe this is especially important in today's era of rampant cybercrime and almost daily data breaches. At the end of the hearing, St. Louis County election directors Eric Fay and Gary Fuhr, the Re Democrat and the Republican respectively, um, testified against my bill. They really liked their electronic voting machines. Um, and that's neither here nor there at present. But, but at the end of the hearing, I was shocked to hear them say that it would be impossible, impossible, that there would ever be a security or data breach. And at the time, I remarked that I really found their overconfidence disturbing especially considering what is at stake, one of our most fundamental and sacred rights. Well, following the hearing, some constituents who had come up to testify and to witness the hearing uh, came up to me and they, sa they said, you know, Senator, I, I, we're really concerned that what might happen here is that the St. Louis County directors would intentionally, quote, use up all of the electronic machines in the presidential primaries in March, and then conduct a all or mostly all paper election in April, uh, bungle the election in April, and then blame it on paper. And I told my, I told my supporters, no, no one would so cynically manipulate an election, disenfranchise voters to make a cynical point. And well, yesterday, and I'm not saying that's what happened, but yesterday, Director Fay told the St. Louis Post-Dispatch that Tuesday's problems were exacerbated by the use of paper ballots, exactly or at least part of what my constituents feared. Now, whether this fiasco was contrived or the result of incompetence, at this point, we don't know. Mr. President, my point today here is that the problems on Tuesday were not, as Director Faye suggested, the result of using paper ballots. Elections have been conducted competently in this country using paper ballots for over 200 years. Indeed, indeed, elections have been conducted in every county of this state, including St. Louis County, competently for decades using paper ballots. The relevant word here is competence. Tuesday's debacle and dis disenfranchisement of voters in St. Louis County was the result, at minimum, of poor planning and incompetence. So I join the many, many others of both parties who have called for a full and thorough investigation of the St. Louis County Board of Elections. No person and no system is perfect and everyone makes mistakes. But we are dealing here with one of our most fundamental and sacred rights under our system of constitutional government. And whatever happened on Tuesday needs to be fully investigated. And if mistakes were made, and certainly if anything intentional happened, those responsible need to be held accountable. Thank you, Mr. President.